just got some flowers uh, from the store, a living room that I'm going to trim right now and put into my favorite vase, which is this. Um, I think it's Italian glass, and it, I purchased it at Home Goods a while ago, and I just, I love the shape, I love the tortoiseshell color, and I love it with white hydrangeas, which I just get at the supermarket and are super cheap. But I wanted to tell you about that soup. The soup is amazing. It's so good. I saved a bowl of it for my husband from coffee hour, and it's, it's just, it's almost like a stew actually, or like a pasta instead of a soup. Um, it is very flavorful. I was a little worried taking the pancetta and the pesto out of it, um, and not using chicken broth, that it would be kind of bland, but it's not. It's absolutely delicious. Like I said yet on, in yesterday's video, I made the base of the soup last night. Um, I did the olive oil, I skipped the pancetta, and I sauteed the yellow onions, carrots, celery, and butternut squash, and also garlic. I sauteed that until it was starting to get soft. Added thyme, and then um, the chopped tomatoes in a can, and eight cups of vegetable broth, a bay leaf, salt, and pepper. And then I cooled it and put it in the fridge overnight. And then this morning, I reheated it and added um, the cannellini beans, um, baby spinach, and white wine, which is what we used the other day for the um, mussels. And then I also put in, rather than pesto, because I was planning on making pesto, but the basil that I had, the fresh basil, started to get slimy. So um, I ended up just using some dried basil, and it was easier for me than making pesto, honestly, though that is a great thing to make for Lent, because um, it's really good stirred into soups, of course. My husband likes it on like a garlic toast, but um, it's a good thing to have on hand, and if I did have it on hand, I would have put that in. But the dried, pesto, the dried basil worked just fine. So, this recipe is a keeper. I will probably try it with a pancetta and all the yummy things and sprinkled with Parmesan cheese, but it's an amazing soup. Really thick, really hearty. Um, I had one bowl of it, and I had had no breakfast because it's a Sunday, and it's delicious and filling. So, if you're looking for a good soup to make, make that.
Hi everyone, it is Sunday, November 29th, and we had a very full day today. We had liturgy and coffee hour. Coffee hour is of course outside due to the pandemic, um, and it is getting chillier here. So we had a bonfire for the first time, and I made that big pot of minestrone soup, which um, kept everybody's bellies warm. Then later in the day, we decided to go to the beach, which was really fun. We went to our favorite spot with the rocks that we discovered on Thanksgiving. Um, unfortunately, the trip ended very quickly because our son, our youngest son, slipped on the rocks and fell and cut his foot in a couple of places. Um, those cuts were superficial and, um, you know, there was no real harm but um, they bled a lot and it was kind of a traumatizing experience because, um, mainly because my husband was like, maybe we shouldn't be climbing on these rocks. And I was like, oh, it's fine. Everything will be fine. And then of course the kid falls and hurts himself. So I'm not sure if we'll be going back to that spot again, but it was fun while it lasted. And um, my husband got some great video of the kids on the rocks, which was really nice and very beautiful. Um, so we came home right after the fall and tended to his cuts, and then we watched a family movie. After the family movie, we remembered that our middle son had to finish a sock puppet for his class's um, reading of A Christmas Carol. His character is the young Scrooge. So we ran to Walmart, we got some googly eyes and some socks and some other stuff, and came home and she helped him put that sock puppet together very quickly, which was really great. Um, so I think it's going to turn out fine. I think that um, it's, it's actually a really cute sock puppet, so I'm excited about it. And I can't wait to see him do his little production over Zoom tomorrow. So that was basically what we did this evening. Um, it was a lot of fun. I mean, we had a good time putting that sock puppet together. We would listen to some of our favorite music while we did it, and we had the fire going. It was really nice. Now that the sock puppet's together, I feel like we can all take a break and relax. Um, it's back to the grind tomorrow, and we have some exciting goings on this week, so I'll be sure to keep the videos coming. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you have a great day. See you soon.